Well, Idaho's charter schools are under fire. Plus, could you still graduate from high school today? A fun quiz and our education discussion with Idaho Education News reporter Kevin Richard in tonight's Making the Grade. School may be winding down, but making the grade certainly is not. No. Kevin's no. back. I want to talk about a story you posted a few days ago. Mm -hmm. You went to the Homedale School District and talked about their four-day school week. Have they found success in going to four days? Well, they found some things they didn't expect. And the reason we wanted to go there is uh, they wrapped up their first year on this four-day calendar. 42 districts around the state are using this uh, four-day schedule now. And another one, Hagerman, is going to pick up on the schedule next year. So. I wanted to go see what happens with a district when they make this adjustment from five-day weeks to four-day weeks. They started out hoping to find financial savings, sure. and that really didn't happen. Uh, it doesn't save them a whole lot of money because, uh, you know, basically it doesn't save you much money in personnel. It did provide them some more time for training, for teacher collaboration. Uh, they don't have to take teachers out of class to train, and that's where they get a little bit of savings. But they're getting. They think they're getting more collaboration, uh, they're getting better training for teachers, and the teachers we spoke to said that one of the things that they've noticed, once the kids got used to the longer day, right? <laughs> you know, it's an adjustment for everybody, uh, but once they got used to it, they felt like they had a little bit more time for kids to dig in and do writing and do math assignments and, and do a little bit more depth in their work. So, so they're actually pretty happy with it. They're two year, it's a two year experiment in okay. Homedale, they're one year into it, but uh, the Initial reports from the district, they, they like what they see at this point. Interesting, but interesting too that they didn't save money because that's been, you know, the driving force behind going well, to a That's been part day. of the debate, but few districts have really found much in the way of savings. Hmm. So that wasn't terribly surprising, but it wasn't exactly what they expected to see. I want to talk to you about charter schools and complaints that came out in kind of a report. Explain what happened. Okay, so um, this complaint was filed last week, uh, a group representing the Latino community saying that Idaho's charter schools are uh, not admitting uh, enough uh, Latino students, uh, low-income students, uh, special education, uh, limited English students. And the statistics do bear it out. The state's own numbers uh, released earlier this year said that uh, all of those student populations are underrepresented. The question is why, and is that a an issue that uh, the Federal Department of Education is going to have to step in and get involved mm. with. That's the crux of the complaint that was filed last week. Where does the complaint go? It goes to the Federal Department of Education. Their Seattle office is going to look into it, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on how that unfolds. Okay, interesting. Kevin's also working on a story that I find fascinating, which is how much money school districts are spending on legal fees, taxpayer dollars. This story's coming out tomorrow. Can you give us a little nugget? Yes, uh, I'll, a little nugget, and I won't name names because I want people to read the story because it's, it's interesting stuff. We went and we asked the districts, how much did you pay in legal fees last year? So these are year-old figures, but they're still really interesting. We found one district that wound up having to spend more than $600,000 in legal fees. It's way higher than any district that we saw. M most of the big districts around here, you're a little bit under 100000 in legal fees. So this is a huge sum of money. And we'll explain which district it is, why it happened, and what's happening in that district this year. It's uh, interesting stuff. Okay, a story coming out tomorrow on Idaho Education News' website. Before you go, you've got a quiz up on IdahoEdNews.org right now that's so fun. And it's something that everybody should take to see if they can uh, still officially graduate from high school. Right. If you want to relive high school. <laughs> or not. <laughs> or not. But if you do want to relive high school, our, our Andrew Reed, who does a great job with these quizzes, put one together to test your proficiency on what kids need to know to graduate high school. So, uh, Would you still graduate? I haven't taken the quiz yet. Oh, fail. So fail. I get a non-participatory grade, <laughs> so yeah, I, I have to go back to high school, I guess. If you'd like to see the quiz and, of course, all of Kevin's stories, just go to IdahoEdNews.org. Kevin, thanks for being here for Making the Grade. Thanks.